What up, everybody? It's your boy Asian, and I'm back. We're on the week, on the eve of uh, another college football Saturday. Um, and we all know Michigan's been the biggest story in college football, as I've talked about. I told you guys I keep you updated, and we have some new updates. Now, as we, as we previously talked about, going to the last week games against Penn State, Harbaugh was suspended by the t Big Ten for three games. And yes, and Michigan plan to file a, temp a t TRO, temporary restraining order. But in, in the last couple of days or so, Harbaugh decided that he will accept the rest of the suspension. So that means two games. So we have two more remaining games. It's tomorrow at Maryland um, at noon. And then next week, the game versus Ohio State. Um, and so we thought Harbaugh was going to uh, apply for that. Now, the court hearing was supposed to be today, Friday, in Washington County. But decided to drop it. And that is because... The school found new, the NCAA found new evidence in this case, <clears throat> according to Dan Wessel and Ross Dellinger of Yahoo Sports. Um, linebackers coach Chris Parsons was fired from the program or relieved of his duties today, as you want to call it, um, because he he covered up evidence after the fact we found out about the sign stealing scandal. So he was relieved of his duties. That's an, that's another um, linchpin in this investigation. So we thought it was going to be quiet. It's been pretty quiet for the most part this week, but this evidence comes out again. Um, and it's, and they also found out that a, a booster named Uncle T um, is supposed to be behind the alleged sign stealing allegations with stallions to help him, to help with the expenses, to travel, to do all the things he was supposed to be. So that's where all this money was, was supposed to be coming from. Uncle T was in quotes. So I'm just giving you guys a little bits and pieces from the article. Um, as we all know, it's been an ongo ongoing investigation. I think it was the right thing <clears throat> by Jim Harbaugh to take this three-game suspension, um, drop the restraining order with the Big Ten, and just take it like a man. In the worst case, you'll get you'll get the guys back. You'll be back for a Big Ten title game if Michigan does make it there, and then you still get the culture during the week. So that is that's a good thing. But it's just more drama, more more news that keeps coming about the Michigan um scandal um so no matter what happens right now michigan's still gonna still gonna be they, they're gonna play the villain role they're gonna wear michigan versus everybody um i'm still with this team i support them i think this it's a player-led team i see who can still focus and get the job done with our hardball <coughs> hardball for these next couple games as we all know the NCAA will keep releasing these findings but i still think it will take some time for it all to come out but so anything that comes out is not going to surprise me but i stand with the team and i stand with these players and I believe they'll be focused. I know they took a lot of energy and effort last week at Penn State. So it could be a letdown early tomorrow, but I do think they'll go get the win. And like I've talked about before, that game against Ohio State next week will be emotionally charged up. But let's take they gotta take care of business um this Saturday. Um so we'll see. But last thing I want to say about it, and Harbaugh is traveling with the team <clears throat> as as they're taking on Maryland. Um he's prepping like he would be at the game, but he's gonna do up everything up until they travel to the stadium. So What's going to happen tomorrow? But I just want to give you guys a quick update about that. And it's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.